Good morning, everybody. Welcome. We are at beautiful Lubbock, Texas. This is Jones AT&T Stadium, one of the most beautiful stadiums in all of college football. By the way, that's their wonderful parking garage over there. I wish more uh, schools had something like that. <coughs> Oklahoma State. <laughs> um, that looks absolutely wonderful. Obviously, we're here to look at the end zone. Um, I do want to point out that, um, I mean, just real quick, all that stuff over there with the baseball uh, that you're looking at is brand new. Um, on that brick uh, there, it was all under construction the last time I was here. And I'll tell you, they did a really good job with that. So we're going to go over there because that's what we're here to see is the end zone. And hopefully the new football operations building as well. Get a quick shot from over here. We don't want to go any further. We need to stay out of their way. But well, that looks phenomenal. Look at that. I just love how they, oh, the double T up there looks good. They were able to, to make this part of... Oh, there's lights on even inside. I bet you they're working on the wiring. Sorry about the sun. It's just full disclosure, I I have another channel and so oh there's the double T. Uh I can't even see my sc my screen, it's so bright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go all the way through here, but I'm assuming that the, okay, yeah, let's see, Sports Performance Center 2015, they could come through here into the field, I guess, maybe. If you know how, how it's going to work, just uh, put a comment. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh, the fake grass. I remember the fake grass from the last time I was here. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's very comfy to walk on. I guess that's why they did it. I mean, it's very squishy. So. I guess uh, if you're a coach here at Texas Tech, you could put a ball and practice your putting if you wanted to. <laughs> okay, this is as far as we can go. So, it's alright. Alright, so, so there'll be a connection from the stadium to, I'm assuming, to the new, the new football operations building. Okay. So we'll have to walk all the way around to get to it, but that's what we'll do. I didn't see this before. You can see up there where it says Sports Performance Center as I'm walking back because i got to walk around this in order to get to the new football operations building. So i got to go up there and then around, but that's okay. I love watching things being built, if you haven't guessed. You know, that's why I do this channel. Oh, well, that's part of the reason. The other is I, I want people to know what other schools have as far as their facilities is concerned. You just can't brag about Oklahoma State to be like, oh, we got the greatest stadium in the country. Compared to what? <laughs> I'm telling you, this Spanish architecture looks really good. It's impressive. That's their indoor practice facility. You get around the corner, be able to
this kind of reminds me what Nebraska is doing with their um, football operations building. Being right next to the uh, practice fields. Get a little closer there. I mean, it's coming along. Okay, so they got artificial turf on one side and real grass on the other. That's cool. We'll stay over on this side of the road and stay out of their way. So they're working hard. Look at that. Even the brick fence looks amazing. Yeah. yeah it was definitely worth it. Now, full disclosure, I am not cheat fed. I don't like breaking the rules. I don't try to sneak in stadiums and get on the field and do all that stuff. But it would be nice if I could get a live picture or video of the inside and, and actually show you the new end zone from inside. So we're going to try, but... I have to be in Dallas by by 3.30, so we'll see what happens. Look at that side view. I, don't know, I almost think they should put like a, like a double T up there or something. I don't know. Of course, you know me. The more logos, the better. This is interesting. Their alumni association is really close to the stadium. It's almost, it almost reminds me of, I hope no Red Raider fan faints when I say this, but because Texas's uh, alumni association is right across the street. So, you now, hey, somebody got smart and said, hey, we should have. The alumni building next to the stadium so we can hang out before we go watch the game. Sounds like a good plan to me. Well, that is just so... The outside looks fantastic, and I love the fact that it per perfectly matches the rest of the stadium. I totally missed this. How did I miss this statue? We love statues on this channel. There you go. Texas Tech Credit, Credit Union? What? <laughs> oh, look at all these cool... Okay. People in memory of their family. They... Now there's Spike Dykes. Okay. So... Texas Tech, a place of light, liberty, and learning. Russell Hood, Logan, and Carol Hobbs Logan. Okay. Long live the Matador. That's cool. I like it. Let's see if there's any possibility of getting an inside shot. <sighs> yeah, with all these fences up, they're obviously doing some other stuff to the side. So that ain't going to happen. But that's okay, because I really need to get to uh, Dallas, and I'll post this later tonight, so when I get home. Of course, you know, I love my wife. She's amazing, so I do like the double T up there in the glass. That's cool. I'm assuming that that bush spells a T, I think. I don't know.
I'll walk around a little bit, see if there's an, an opening. I just want to show you something for those of you who haven't seen the pre my previous video. Um, I, I just love the double T's there. That looks really good. The thing I you have to give, and please, tech fans, don't take this the wrong way, but but Oklahoma State at, at their gates at the very top, we have like little cowboys all across the top. It's those little details that just make it cool. I mean, I love this, and especially you got the, the masked rider on your sign. So, but once again, kudos to, for this massive parking garage. That is super cool. I think I pointed this out the last time I was here, but I love it when places do things like this. We have this picture that's built into the stairs. So from down here, it looks like one continuous picture, even though it's on the, the front of each stair. That's just cool. I don't have to go inside. I can just stick my phone through. That's the inside of the construction. Oh, that's the the end the end zone. It looks really good from here. I hope the camera's picking it up. You got some of the, a lot of the chair backs are already been installed. I like the fact that it's different. You got the black chair backs over there, and then the red ones over there. So you got the school colors. One of the things I like about this stadium in particular is the fact that both sides look really good. I mean, it's a little bit different over here, but not by much. But still, plenty of brick, plenty of glass. That The whole Spanish architecture thing is, is really going on here. And I'll get a better shot up here. I want to stay out of their way. But what's this? You know, every time I come to a stadium, I'm going to see Ed Whitaker Center for Athletic Administration. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oklahoma State has their athletic department inside of the basketball arena. So, I mean, either in football or basketball. If you can use space for multiple things, that makes sense. Plains Capital Bank. Cool. So we can see this side of the... I mean, ultimately, this is... This is what we came to see. We came to see the, the new end zone. We came to see the new uh, football operations building. So I'm glad I came around. I wasn't going to do it, but then I thought, yeah, oh, look. the brickwork on the bottom is, is, is done, mostly done. Hard work of guys putting up some look at the, that looks phenomenal. I'm telling you, Oklahoma State's gonna have to step up its game, and I love the fact that it is connected to the stadium itself. So. Time to get those open. We gotta do this quick. Just really quick. Well, considering what happened to me at Auburn, I did not want to stick around when I found an open gate. I went in, got the shot of the indoor of the end zone from inside the stadium. Looks fantastic. Looks absolutely fantastic. Love the Spanish architecture. I mean, look at that. 
How can you not like that? That's so cool. I just don't understand why people throw tortillas around here. It's like, you're wasting perfectly good stuff for fajitas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I almost got hit. <laughs> you're wasting perfectly good stuff for fajitas. Take those tortillas, get you some peppers and some ch grilled chicken or beef. <laughs> Anyway, I'm always thinking about food. <laughs> I guess that's why I struggle to keep my weight below 200 pounds. Anyway, if you are new, please hit like and subscribe. Um, honestly, I don't know. Other than the big trip coming up to California, I don't know what else we can do to provide content. Uh, well, I do know next week I'm trying to get in my car. Um, next week I will do, um, I've got videos about our, um, pr predictions, not just Oklahoma state, but the big 12, the new big 12. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and I will see you later. Bye. As always, go Pokes.